Okay, welcome back to Subnautica Below Zero. I don't ever know whether to start the, the episode in the game or on the menu. I guess I probably should just start them in-game. That way I don't have to, like, cut out the loading zone, the loading screen to get into game. Because, you know, nothing really happens on this screen. <clears throat> it just, like, forces me to come up with things to say. <laughs> in order to fill the empty blank space that nothing's happening in. Okay. Why does it feel like my FOV is off? I'm gonna do it at 100, actually. That looks a bit better. Yeah, okay. What was what was I doing? Pilot's last known location. Delta Station Dock. Oh, yeah, I just got the sea truck, didn't I? Yes. God, I've just got so much space. Okay. I wanted... I wanted to build, like get like the builder tool because with the builder tool I can proximity detector uses to locate material fragments and other items with an identifiable signature <clears throat> oh interesting okay I want to make a habitat builder because this will allow you to build like actual storages I guess for right now, I could probably just make like waterproof lockers. Because those are like relatively cheap to make. And they do technically supply me with stuff. Here, I'll put them underneath the house. <laughs> well, you'll just be put down here. And this is where we'll we'll just drop a bunch of stuff. Whoop! I didn't want to drop like that. Okay. <laughs> this will be my under the house locker. Don't pick it up. I want to supply it. Supply it with resources. There we go. Okay. Lovely. Um. <clears throat> I think what we'll do is we'll start the episode off with going to the pilot's last known location. Hmm. Well, I wonder if I can even get down there. What's the uh, calculation for the sea truck? Only 150. Hmm. Okay. I don't know if I can actually get down there. Where are the upgrade modules go? Oh, is that it right there? Yeah. Upgrades. But I don't have any upgrades. And I don't think I can make any without... Okay, so I think I, at this point I probably should just grind real quick for some gold. Because I need more gold. Fucking, really? I need more gold for the... Oh, those lights are kind of distracting. Um, I'm gonna head this way. Because I need to find the, um thermal spire kind of biome because there's sandstone there and sandstone gets gold because I need some gold for computer chips in order to do the habitat builder let's look for some sandstone then I have no clue what those things are called but they do look cool this alien technology exhibits a data signature that strongly correlates with the previously recorded distress call. Interesting. How could I can use this new data? Ah, to alien distress call. call was coming from. Alien distress call. Okay. Signal location uploaded to PDA. Noise. <clears throat> Chance of gold. Lovely. Give me. Oh, he's chasing me. Ah, you're a scary boy. What a scary boy. You're just gonna keep chasing me. Okay. This is a cool bio look. Look at this. Is there anything useful down here? Oh, there is. What's up, guys? 
Uh, where did they go? I thought I saw some. Yeah, there it is. Warning: passing 100 meters. Ooh, control Oxygen room. Nice. Decreased. Anything else around? Chest. Water. What's this? Lithium. Nice. Oh, there's another chest. Okay, let's grab that too. Battery, nice. And some salt. Okay. It seems like that's everything in that little wreck. I don't know if I'll actually be able to get all the way down there. I think it's too deep. Yeah, this is too deep, dude. Oh, the floating, like, lily pad biome thing. Yeah, okay. We can't go down there that quite yet. Too deep. Can't get the sea truck down there all the way. Do I have water? Uh, yes. We're good. Okay. Alright, let's head back to the base now that I've got what I need. What the heck just made that sound? Oh, hey! Wow! You're cool looking. <laughs> Alright, we are back. And I think we can get what we need built here. Need this. Uh, do we have more copper in the locker down here? Come on. Yes. Take these. Because I need a copper wire as well. I also need coral sample. Oh, I forgot about that. Hmm. Okay. Let's head back out and get some. Oh, here's some. You charging me? Hey! You got two of them. That's neat. Man, these guys are relentless. They don't want to quit. Can I get in here? Epic. <laughs> okay. Where is the there it is. Give me. Cool. Okay. Actually. <clears throat> let me put a battery in this. And just do a quick repair on this so it doesn't break. You can't get in here. Oh, oh, come on. Come on, I got you in here somehow. We're gonna get you out of here. There we go. Okay. Doink. Cool. Cool. Alright. Habitat builder. Adding emergency shelter blueprints to your data bank. Oh yeah? With the builder tool, you can construct sea bases from raw materials. Advising against exploring a frozen water continent without a base. No bed, no storage, no place to put a fabricator module. No fun. <laughs> okay. got no power what why does it have no power so I thought it was supposed to be come with a okay a battery weird okay mm-hmm look at all these things that I have mm. 
Hmm. What type of pa power? We have just quartz available to us. Okay. I mean, um, solar panel. Which we need quartz for, so let's... I think we need some of this and this and... The other quartz is in the base, I think. Unfortunately, it's nighttime, so... <clears throat> We're not going to be able to get power straight to it, but that's alright. Um, I just need, like, a base that's going to work as far as advanced crafting benches and some extra storage. I think we need more quartz for the... Actually, what do I need for the solar panel? Uh, yeah, just quartz, okay. Cool. That should be good. Boom. Temporary shelter built. I mean, there's not gonna be any power in here. Warning, emergency power only. Oxygen production offline. Mm-hmm, 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 yeah. That's fine, though. Um, can I need another computer chip? A diamond? Do I have any of those? Hmm, I don't know if I have diamond. Yeah, no, I don't have any diamond. Hmm, okay. Well, I mean, I'm gonna need some, like, lockers and stuff anyway, so. There we go. Perfect. Place to put some extra storage. Very nice. Copper wire, titanium wiring kit. Ooh, that scared me. <laughs> Power restored. Welcome aboard, Captain. Uh, we'll put this right here. That seems like a pretty decent spot to put it. And we can just get this dead battery going. Noise. I feel like we need to make some amount of progress. Okay. Oh, actually, didn't uh, I? I think I need a modification station for that. I was about to say, didn't I get like the biggest air tank blueprint or something? Thought I did. Yeah, high capacity O2 tank. Is that just craftable in the in the normal? Thing here uh, yes it is okay titanium silver and glass uh, let me just mark it four of these one silver Ooh, am I gonna have enough quartz for glass let's see come on uh, no. I'm not. Let's go find some quartz then. Okay, there we go. Blink. And we can just unequip this. Make the glass. And make the tank. That should give us a good amount of air. How much air exactly? 135, I think, yeah. How much did this battery charge up? Okay, 31%. I'm just gonna take that out now. And, uh, whoops, not what I wanted to do. I just wanna have some battery in this. Better than nothing. Okay. 
So I'm actually gonna go to the pilot's last known location and see what waits me there. Now that I have the bigger tank, I'm a bit more confident in the fact that I'll be able to get there because I don't think I can get the truck all the way there. At least not without making a a uh, depth module, but I can't make that because that needs a modification station and that requires diamond and I don't know where to get diamond. <laughs> Just a long series of I need this, I don't know where to get it. Ooh, look at that guy. It's a squid shark or something. Yeah, I'm definitely not going to be able to get this thing all the way down there. I'm basically at max depth already. What is making that sound? Hmm. Okay, well, we'll go down with the sea truck as far as we can, which is basically just to the hole. <laughs> Come on, go back up. Okay, so this is about as far as we can go with the with the thing. I hope these stupid shark don't attack my truck while I'm gone. The heck just happened? Do they have an EMP blast that they can do? What the heck? Okay. I'm going to save it here. And we're gonna go diving. I'm pretty sure that there's a base down here. So if I can get there, then I won't die of asphyxiation. Warning, passing 200 meters. Oxygen efficiency greatly decreased. And there's air plants to keep me going, so. This is the best I've got at this point. Because I cannot get the sea truck down here. I'm just hoping that they don't attack the sea truck while I'm, like, not there. <laughs> Which is why I saved, so that if things go wrong... I haven't, like, lost my sea truck. I can just, like, resave, reload. Didn't I tell you to stay Ooh. away? From what? I don't even know who you are. Marguerite Maida is the name. You're on my turf. Mm. Great. Can I come in and warm up? What part of go away do you not understand, Altera? I'm not with Altera. There we go. Ooh. Customized prawn suit. This is primarily why I wanted to come down here because I knew she had a moon pool. And I need that for the upgrades. Okay. Hmm. Hello. Who's in here? You! Hey. I told you to stay off my land. <laughs> you trained that thing? Next time I'll let him tear you to ribbons, Altera. I'm not with Altera. I'm Robin Ayu. I'm looking for information about my sister Sam. I think you might have crossed paths. Bull crap. I suggest you take the time you need to come to your senses and then get off my sea base. If you're not, Altera, why don't you disable that damn tracking satellite tower instead of barging into my sea base? Maybe once Altera's off my back, I'll remember something about your sister. <laughs> There's some junk on that table that might help. I couldn't get it to work. Okay. Snow Fox Fragment. Oh, this is the motorbike thing. Test Overwrite Module Fragment. Oh! I actually need to craft the thing. Okay. 
Can I get over here? Eh? Calm down. I want to scan you. There we go. Snow stalker. Okay. That far out to sea, swimming back for land wasn't an option. I'd die from exhaustion long before I made it to shore. All I could do was survive long enough to wash up somewhere. I felt a suction. And suddenly, there were vast jaws rising out of the water towards me. It had taken hours for the Reaper's corpse to float to the surface. Using the knife, I clambered up her flank and got a perch on top. I figured she'd float for a few days at least. Enough for me to catch my breath. But would she sink before or after I died of thirst? I had a knife, a repair tool, and three liters of water. At least I wasn't gonna die of exhaustion. Now, those reapers, they're practically all muscle. But there's some fat in there. I was able to keep warm and drink the water. And I didn't have much. But I had that repair tool, so I had a spark. It took a week to light that first fire. And I know more about the burning properties of Reaper fat than I ever cared to. I had to ration fires, but as they burned, I could smoke meat that I carved out of the beast's rib cage. Hmm, okay. Ooh, ox oxygen plant. Yeah, there we go. I was looking for that. It's like, I need one. <laughs> uh, give me that. Alright. I think I'm heading the right direction. I hope. Another oxygen plant. I'm always gonna grab these. Could always use more gold. And there's the truck. Okay. Cool. Oh, shut up. Whoop. Alrighty. There we go. Oh! It's a glow ra whale, right? Look at him! He's so cool looking. Alright. All right, then. So, we got some stuff. We got, okay, yeah. Prawn suit. Standard issue Mark III prawn suit has been manually altered by its owner, exchanging one of its hot swappable work arms for a mandible of a young silitrite. Given the range of available tech, high-tech prawn modification in a non-classified Altera fabrication suit, these customizations appear to be more of a stylistic choice than a functional one. However, the sharp claw arm could certainly be effectively okay, can be used effectively in defense scenarios. Okay, cool. Thank you. So I got some the test overwrite module, a parallel processing unit. What in God's name is that? I think this one said something about that. I'm in short an element to fabricate the right cable. An old ship. Tower maintenance. Hold on, I'm gonna read this, listen to this again. Okay, this time the birds have really done it. I don't know what they've been eating, but it's corrosive when it comes out the other end. I'm gonna need to rewire. I'm short an element to fabricate the right cable. I remember seeing someone that did that dive to the old ship. I'm gonna go out there and see if I can get some more. That should fix it. Maintenance status in progress. So I need to find the old ship in order to find what I need, I guess. I assume that's what he's talking about. And it's in the purple vent biome. Okay, cool. Got it. Because there's a purple vent there. Maybe I just find it now then. Oh, shut up. 
Okay. Detecting stern of an astronautical salt transcode vessel nearby. Oh yeah? Vessel name, Mercury 2. Inoperative. Ooh, it's the little jelly dude. I forget what they're called. They, they don't hurt you, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna hop out and figure out what they're called. Vent Garden is what they're called. I remember in the big ones, you could like go right up into the into the thing. Okay, hold on. So here's the the ship. So I suppose that there's probably something I need in here for the override thing. Okay, I'm just gonna assume that I need to go in here because this looks some Warning. important Passing enough. 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Ooh, metal salvage. Hmm. Uh. Oh, this is gonna get confusing. Hmm. I wonder if I can get the sea truck in here, actually. Let's see. Oh, careful. Okay. No. They, they, like, built this so that you couldn't. Okay, well, we'll leave it there so that it's got easy access to the hatch. I just have to try not to lose my way. Oh, this is going to get confusing. What is that? Ooh, laser cutter. Am I going to need a laser cutter in here? Ooh, there's an air plant in there. Sealed door. Aha, yeah. Mm -hmm. I see now. So I'm probably gonna have to come back once I've got the laser cutter, aren't I? Ooh, nice. Desk. Perfect. Exactly what I needed. Uh, I need to drink water. Ooh, this leads out. Lovely. Let's refill air real quick. Uh, okay. Let's keep looking around then. Yeah, okay, so I'm gonna actually have to come back here once I've got the friggin' laser cutter. Where is that? I'm gonna need a two diamonds. I need to figure out where I find diamond then. Okay. Ooh, copper wire. New creature discovered. Spine fish. Go away. Battery. Useful. Okay, Warning. this passing 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Okay, that just leads out. Seems like there isn't that much here to explore, at least not without the laser cutter. Ooh. As I go into like this big area here. Yeah, I can't get access to any of this garbage. And this just leads back out. Okay. Cool. Oh, and I'm stuck. Nice. Okay, I guess I have to come back here with the... Oh my gosh, you can't swim through that, really? I have to come back here with the laser cutter. But now I need to figure out where I can get diamond. Maybe it's in one of the biomes that I haven't really explored that much of. Hmm. Maybe I can find diamond in this biome here. They still have the... Do you have dev console? Oh, wow, I do. Nice. Needio. <laughs> yeah. Biome li giant lily pads. Nice. Okay. <laughs> I'm glad they left that in. Welcome to the world of dev console. Warning. Shut up. Death reached. Hull damage imminent. Warning. Passing 100 meters. Is this something Oxygen I can scan? Efficiency decreased. Fallen lily pad, it is. Hmm. There doesn't seem to be much... 
new when it comes to this biome. Just kind of like the silver deposits and the sandstone and the normal titanium things. Warning. Passing 200 Ooh, meters. Oxygen efficiency greatly decreased. Nickel. Lovely. I guess I have to head back because I'm out of inventory space anyway. And I can't seem to find diamonds anywhere. Wow, isn't everything after me today? <laughs> Oops. Crashed into the ground. <laughs> I'm drunk. Uh, okay. Let's repair this up. Now that we're back. Cool. Alright. Uh, what do I need to do? I was about to say, can't I turn all this into titanium? Yeah. Cool. Whoops. I, I pinned titanium. Lovely. I don't know how to craft titanium. Okay. Welcome aboard, Captain. Do I have another battery? Yes, we do. Okay, let's get any low batteries replaced real quick. Um, and I can get this one replaced as well and charge that one up. Okay, cool. We can throw all this stuff away. Can I place this down now that I've got it? Yeah, nice. Epic. Put that there. <laughs> C truck X12. Nice. Alright. We. Okay, I need some food and water. You look good. You have water in you. You also have water in you, and you look tasty. Come, no, come back here. No, no, no. I'm gonna eat you. No, come back, come back here. Eh. Alright, cool. Sustenance. We do need one of these. And I'm pretty sure I have literally everything I need for that already. Lead, lube, and titanium ingots. Uh, do I actually have lead? I hope I do. Open the storage. Yes, I do. Lead, lube I can get by just going over here real quick. Give me the C clusters. Gimme, okay. And we'll turn the last one into silicon. Cool. Yeah. What the heck? I don't know if I have enough for all of them in here. Oh no, I got two, good. Uh, perfect, uh, we can put that away. I don't need that. And now, where's my builder? There it is, cool. And now we can find a spot for this. Uh, up, uh, up. Can I, uh, rotate bracket? Really? Okay, so I can't put it there because that rock exists. Thanks, rock, for existing. Ooh, can I even place it anywhere? <laughs> Why does it, like... Oh, my gosh. Stop! They... Oh, 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 oh. Why does it, like, clip onto me? Stop it! Yeah, I know, I'm. T it's too close to me! Fucking put- Ugh, this gridlock system, why did they- <sighs> The first game, it was just like free, like you could just like move it wherever you wanted and it didn't like lock onto things unless it was trying to lock onto a, like a base piece. While here, it's just like- eh, 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 Everything's a grid. Eh. I found a spot to put it and now I can't get it back to that spot because this gridlock system is garbage. Okay. It can be put there. 
I wonder if that's close enough to be considered part of the base. No. Lovely. Ugh. What a pain. Oh, are you kidding me? I can't even build it there. Ugh. You gotta be fucking kidding me. Why can't it be built here? What's wrong with this? Oh my gosh, it's like barely clipping into the fucking... This is annoying. This is so stupid. This, like, layout is horrible. Not the game's fault. It's, it's just, like, this this area that I've decided to build my base in is terrible. So why is that in the way? How is that in the way? That's not in the way. That to tube is not in the way. Why does there have to be a leg there? This thing could just float. It doesn't need to fucking have a leg. Oh, my God. What's in the way? Nothing. Nothing is literally in the way. It's not saying anything is in the way, but I can't put it here? Why? Why can't I put this here? Oh my goodness. This is the worst bait. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna say it. This is the worst base building experience I've ever had in a base building game. <laughs> And I, yet, I don't know how they've somehow made this worse, because the first Subnautica, you, like, I built bases that looked so, that were just, like, in the most fucking weird bases, like, bending between rocks and shit, and I never had a problem putting anything down, and yet here, I can't seem to put down a moon pool in a place that it obviously fits in. Ugh! How have you made this base building system worse? They've somehow made it worse, and I need water. There. I'm gonna put this here. Since apparently that's a suitable place, and all the other places are not. And I'm just going to, like, rebuild my base around this. You know what? Yeah, fuck it. That's what I'm doing. That's what I'm doing. That's what we're doing. Okay. Because there's no other way for me to do this and have them connected in a way that makes sense. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to deconstruct everything in this room and like, is there anything in this? Oh my God. We have too much space. Okay. Hold on. Let me build this. Okay. Boom. There we go. Let's get the sea truck into the moon pool. Now that we finally have the fucker built. Alright, in we go. Lovely. Okay, now we need the... What is it called? There it is. Need a computer chip. Okay. Uh, okay. There you go. And we need to make another one of these. Okay. And now we finally have the means to upgrade the sea truck. Moon pool and a vehicle upgrade console, which we'll put right here. Okay, sea truck module. Enameled glass, plastic steel ingot, okay. Enameled glass. How do I make enameled glass? Lead and diamond. Oh my goodness, I don't even know where to get diamond. I might have to like look up where to get diamond. Because I feel like I'm supposed to know where I'm supposed to get diamond. Because I'm at the point where everything that is progress requires diamond. Okay, lovely. Okay, you know what, let's... I'm going to head out to the... Ah, to 
the alien distress call. I'm probably gonna have to do the same thing that I did with the Marguerite's base, where I just like park the sea truck as close as I can get and then just go in it with the sea glide. <clears throat> Hopefully, there's enough air flowers and for me to be able to get to where I need to get for this. Yeah, I think it's in that cave. Okay. We're gonna... Warning. Crossing 100 leave meters. this here. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Yeah. Because there's the SOS beacons here. Alright, let's see if I can make it to where I need to go here. Air flower or air plant, whatever they're called, I can't remember. Oxygen plant is what they're called. Okay. And here's that alien base. Whoop! Ooh. Oh! Speaking. We're running out of time. Yeah. Okay. This is the alien boy. What is all this? Seeking information seeks to where she needs him. I can help you better if you show yourself. If we can show ourselves, we would not need storage. Mm. You mean you don't have a physical presence? Are you one of them? An architect? Storage medium identified. We will be lost unless we find a new host. Can you help? Can you use my PDA for storage? You are not with the group from before. Your cybernetic components bear their signal. Altera? <laughs> no, my equipment is, uh, borrowed. It will have to do. <laughs> Ion cube. Yoink. 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 Alright. I was gonna say, this is like... I think his name in the development... Like, early development builds was like Alan or something. Right? How Out. long have you been stored here? Longer than here. Mm. Warning. Sanctuary power. Critical. Our data can be downloaded from the terminal. We may speak more once the transfer is completed. Yes, okay. Hurry. I don't know if they changed his name. I doubt they changed his name. It's probably still just going to be Alan. Storage medium accepted. Brace to Chester. Brace? <laughs> What's happening? Into the brain. <laughs> Transfer complete. Lovely. How do you feel? Why do you sound like you're inside my head? I am. The facility identified hospitable capacity within your cerebral cortex. You are in my head? I offered you my PDA. Get out! Oh, no. Does your kind perceive a boundary between cybernetic and organic components? My mind is not a component. You sound angry. We will allow you a moment to process. Don't you go silent on me. Ooh. Hello? This is not happening. Ooh. That's the explanation. It's not happening. <laughs> sure it's not. It just happened. <laughs> okay. Alright then. Little robot boy. Oh, 
Parkour! Hey! That hurt you, really. Seriously. <laughs> okay, let's see if I can even find my way out of here now. Warning. Passing 200 meters. Oxygen efficiency greatly decreased. I think I'll be fine. I've got oxygen plants along the way. I guess they intend for you to come down here without the truck, I guess. Neat. Ooh. T to answer, E to dismiss. Ooh. We understand this arrangement is undesirable to you. You're not real. Go away. To go, we require a suitable body for transfer. Why do you keep saying we? How many of you are there? One of us and all of us. We do not think of ourselves as individual. Mm. Distinct. Why don't you start by telling me who you are? You may append your seed code to my species designation. <laughs> Please call me Al. My whole life I've been dying to meet a alien spacefaring alien up close, and you're telling me your name is Alan? Is it insufficient? No, it's fine. It's perfect. Where are you from, Alan? Your kind calls us architects. A precursor race. But what are you doing here? That is a long story. Perhaps you would prefer to focus on the construction of a new storage medium to which I may transfer. Yes. Fine, absolutely. How do we get you out of my head? I have added the information to your data bank. You will need to find the necessary components. Any mm. idea where I can find them? It is unclear. I have been disconnected from my network for so long I cannot locate the coordinates. <sighs> okay. Uh, yeah, let's, okay. let's open that up. While we have evolved beyond physical attachment, it is traditional to navigate space-time in conjunction with mobile biomechanical storage mediums, media, altered and evolved over time to serve the inhabitants' needs. While it is possible to transfer between media at will, there is some comfort and prestige in improving a body over time. We have settled on a popular format for, these, for this media, though there is no... There are no exceptions. It's heavily modified version of pre-civilized bodies. It provides a good mobility, easy adaptation, and easy to fix. In case of disaster, we can block we can back up our data patterns to a sanctuary site for later retrieval. Storage in this fashion is safe provided consistent power supply. However, the unique <coughs> perspectives and traits Seek fluid intake. Thanks and traits which arose which arose from the interplay with the original medium are lost it is like a re factory reset it is recommended individuals be restored to a compatible medium as soon as possible such hollow vessels may be fast grown from seed using specialized blueprints and materials while it is technically possible for an individual individual to copy their data in order to duplicate themselves ad finitum such behavior is considered beyond rude, and any self-respecting architect would resolve would resolve such a circumstance by immediately deleting themselves. Nice. <laughs> okay. Get in there. All right. Welcome aboard, Captain. Lovely. Let's repair this. Ooh, we can also, like, customize this, right? Yeah. I'm just gonna keep it C-Truck, because I don't have any names for the... Ooh, eh, uh, eh, uh, uh, Okay. No, stop. Done. I want to be able to see the C-Truck while it transforms. There we go. That works. Um... Oh, yes. Black. Black. It's the stealth <laughs> truck. <laughs> okay. Um, hmm get some color what do we want this to be maybe black isn't that bad and then we'll just like get like a dark blue stripe with like dark Seek blue interior immediately Maybe brighten this up, but just to, you know, go all the way down here. 
Eh, let's... I don't know. You know what? Fuck it. Let's just do it this. There we go. Purple. What a beautiful... Dude... <laughs> <laughs> what an absolutely beautiful vessel. Okay. I'm gonna save it, and I'm gonna call this episode here. And that's gonna be the for the, the second episode of Below Zero, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.